3y squared minus 8y minus 3. Okay, now you'll notice that we have a number in front of the y or the squared or the squared term which is not 1. Alright, so things are going to be a slightly more complicated. However, it doesn't need to be much more complicated because all you need to do is to draw a little cross like that. And then you say the factors of that term there and there. So 1 times 3 is 3 and 3 times 1 is 3. Alright, you happy with that? Yeah. And then you look at the last term and you do the same thing. You say all the factors of the last term, 1 and 3, 3 and 1. Okay. okay. And then what you do is you take them, that, multiplied by that. 1 times 3 is 3. And that one multiplied by that, 3 times 1 is 3. Right, so you multiply twice and then you write the answer down in each case. And now you ask yourself the question, can I use those two numbers to get that number? Is it possible to get three, use 3 and 3 to get 8? Uh, no. Okay, so then we go back and we try all over again. So now we multiply that number with that number. That will give us 1. And we multiply that number with that number, and that will give us 9. Now, is there a way in which we can use 1 and 9 to get 8? Yes. Of course. All right. Which means we don't need that term, that term, that term, or that term. Do you agree? We, yeah. found, the, we found the terms which will give us the, the 8. And all you then... All you need to do then is to put brackets there, there and put a Y there. So you're ready, you're almost done. You've got your brackets Y and 3, Y and 1. Actually, 3, 3Y, three sorry. Y and 3 and 3Y three and 1. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Now you say, okay, I need to get minus 8. How am I going to get minus 8 using 1 and 9? Uh, you'd say minus 9 plus 1. Okay, and which of the two legs of that cross gave me the 9? Uh, the 3 and 3. Okay, so I'm just going to put a minus there then, and a plus there. So it's going to be y minus 3, 3y three plus 1. That's it done. Wow. <laughs> That's really simple. Well, not so hey. simple, but... D yeah. <laughs> well, look, with practice, it becomes very simple. So let's take a look at another example. Yeah. That you want the 2x squared minus x minus 6, I think it is. Okay. Okay. So we draw across, we look at that number, and we write its factors down there. 1 times 2, 2 times 1. Alright? Yeah. And then you can and say... Then we take that number... 2... three and two and yeah. Oh, so you have to do all the factors, not all just right. Yeah, all of them. Because you never know which combination is going oh. to work. Okay. Okay, so then we say one times three is three. Three, yeah. Two times two is Four. Can I use three and well, four to I think get we the one, which is the middle term? Yeah, you can. You can say uh, minus four plus three. 
Okay, minus 4 plus 3, which means that will be the minus and that will be the plus. And we'll put the x there. And we don't need that or that. And there we've got the two brackets. Right, so it's x minus 2 and 2x plus 3. Wow. Okay. All right. Just a word of caution with with this type of thing. Just double check always. All right. You don't even have to do it on the exam paper. Do it on a piece of paper or anything like that. But just double check. So that will give me two x squared. That will give me three x minus four x will give me minus one x. And that will give me the minus 6 at the end. Okay.